So Qatar actually has two seasons, super hot and not so super hot. Some people ask me if we ride camels to school. The answer is no, we don't ride camels to school. All right, hello everyone, it's JJ, I'm back again. It's been a while since I made a video, so I'm just making one to let you know that I'm alive and doing well. So I'm currently back in Doha, Qatar for my fourth year of medical school. And today I thought I'd make a video about what the weather is like in Qatar and how you can prepare for it. I know that the World Cup 2022 is coming up soon. Today is September 2022, so the World Cup is coming in about two months. And I know people can be interested about how hot it is in Qatar and about my credentials. So I've lived in Qatar for about eight years now. So I guess I can talk about the weather here. So Qatar actually has two seasons, super hot and not so super hot. And right now is a super hot season. And by the time it's World Cup season, it's going to be the not super hot season. So don't worry too much about the temperatures now because it's going to be pleasant in the not so super hot time. So today I came out it's 1.20 p.m. It's actually the uh, hottest time of the day, so I came out now to show you what the weather is like. And right now, it is 42 degrees Celsius. And I think that's like about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. But to be honest, people don't generally come out at this time because it's too hot and all the indoors are air conditioned, so people stay indoors. And the only times you would usually go outside is when you're trying to get from like a parking lot to a building or from building to building. So you won't be outside too long, so don't worry. And currently at night, it can drop down to about 30 to 4, 34 degrees Celsius, which isn't too bad. Um, because the sun will be down. And so in the not so super hot season, which hopefully will be the World Cup season, it can go down to usually about 20 degrees Celsius, which is like 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's nice and cool. During that period, you can go outside at 12 p.m., 1, 8, 1 p.m., and it won't be that hot. And during November and December, it's really nice season. People do a lot of outdoor activities there. It just feels like a whole new country because that's the best time to enjoy activities in Qatar. So I think it'll be a good time. But because, because Qatar is so close to the equator, the sun is really strong. So I really recommend that you bring your sunscreens to protect yourself. And uh, also bring your shades to protect your eyes. Oh, and uh, you know, some friends ask me about sandstorms. During the past eight years of living here, I've never experienced like crazy sandstorms, like sandstorms you see in Mission Impossible. But because it's the desert area, sometimes you can smell like dust particles or little sand particles. Like as soon as you arrive here, you can kind of smell that it's, you can smell the sandiness, but it's not too bad. And in November, December, it can get a little bit chilly, so I recommend that you bring like a light jacket. Oh, and uh, another misconception that people have about Qatar. Some people ask me if we ride camels to school. The answer is no, we don't ride camels to school. We ride Uber and Lyft. Actually, the uh, taxi app that I use the most, which works really well in the Middle East, is Kareem this thing so if you're coming and you don't have a car to rent I suggest that you can use this it's a good taxi app and yeah so in November December the weather in Qatar is going to be quite pleasant so enjoy the season if you're coming for the World Cup or for other reasons enjoy visiting Qatar but most importantly stay safe